Now to the latest on the Trump presidency. Paid a visit to the White House today for talks on a variety of important issues, among them trade and the Iran nuclear deal. But President Trump also wanted to talk about Russia. CBS 4's Mololengi has details from the White House. Congratulations. President Trump says way. people underestimate his bond with German Chancellor Angela Merkel. We have a really great relationship, and we actually have had a great relationship right from the beginning, but some people didn't understand that. But we understand it, and that's what's important. But the two don't see eye to eye on a number of issues, including trade tariffs, climate change, and the Iran nuclear deal. I believe that um, obviously the, this agreement is anything but perfect. It will not solve all the problems with Iran. It is one piece of the mosaic, one building block, if you like, on which we can build up this structure. They do stand in agreement that the talks in Korea must mean the end of North Korea's nuclear program. We will continue to be vigilant to see to it that denuclearization is stopped of North Korea and that a nuclear free zone is established. Maximum pressure will continue until denuclearization occurs. President Trump took time away from the international diplomatic talks to discuss a domestic issue that has clouded much of his presidency. It's a witch hunt. That's all it is. There was no collusion uh, with Russia, if you can believe this one. Uh, there was, she probably can't believe it. Who can? President Trump said he was honored to read a report written by House Republicans, which completely exonerated the Trump campaign from any collusion with Russia. It was a great report. No collusion, which I knew anyway. No coordination, no nothing. But Democrats say the report is completely partisan, and they plan to continue the investigation into possible collusion. Mola Lange, CBS News, the White House.